Hey guys, it's Sephiroth1, and I'm going to be showing you my screen recorder. My screen recorder is called Cam Studio. Uh, Cam Studio is what allows me to record everything. Uh, you see my mouse moving? That's Cam Studio. Um, it's a free download. It's uh, open source. You can just bring up your internet browser if you want to download it. Uh, go to Google, and you just look up Cam Studio. It's totally free. Uh, you can download there's a beta I think um, you can download a different version but once you get to camstudio.org you're just gonna go down until you see camstudio 20.exe um, and there are codecs that you can download too um, I'll show you what codecs I use um, alright so let's start off region this allows you to basically uh, select where you want to record you can select it with my cam studio anyway you can select a window you can do full screen you can do a fixed region which means it records around the mouse um, or anywhere you want like you can customize it to where you want to put it um, options there are video options and here you can select your compressor um, I think at uh, default it's Microsoft video I'm not sure um, do not use that um, Download DivX 6.8.5 codec. That's the best one you can get. It keeps good quality and it puts the file size down, so it's not a huge file like uh, Microsoft Video One would do. Okay, so my quality is at 85. Uh, set key frames for uh, every 120 frames. Uh, my frame rates are capture frames every 33 milliseconds. My playback rate is at 30 frames a second. Um, and I have this uh, for the time lapse, time lapse at max frame rate. Um, you can click on about. It will show you what uh, type of codec I have. I have DivX Pro. Um, you can download the free version, but I have the Pro version. Um, certification profile. I have it at 1080 HD. Works fine for me. Um, you can use presets to configure the encoder. You can select it for speed or quality. I just do it here. It's, it's just fine for me. Um, I have rate control mode at one pass at a bit rate of 20k. Uh, 20k kbps. Um, the codec here it shows you that you have more speed um, and you have good uh, compression. Um, video. I just kept all this default. Um, so that's my uh, video options. Uh, you can have cursor options. You can hide the cursor, or you can show the cursor. You can use the actual your actual cursor, or you can use a custom cursor, which is uh, like that. Um, I just use the actual cursor. Highlight the cursor. That's um, you'll see the yellow dot at the tip of my cursor. That's what this is. I use that so people um, can focus on the cursor better. Um, you can do different circles. You can do an ellipse square and a rectangle you can also kick the uh, pick the color I just keep that yellow uh, it's a bright color so that helps visual feedback that means every time you click see left and right it will uh, make a color I don't use that um, I just think it's annoying um, you can record audio from the microphone that's how you can hear me talking um, you do not have to record audio if you don't want to um, you can do audio options for your mic, and these are my options for my microphone. Soundmax Digital Audio, you can uh, change the volume, uh, whatever. Um, recording format, I have it at 22.05 uh, gigahertz or whatever. Stereo, 16-bit. My compressed format is Lame MP3. Use this. Download Lame MP3 codec. That's what you want. Um, and this is set at... 22,050 uh, hertz stereo, 7k bytes per second. Um, if you don't have LAM MP3, I guess PCM is okay. Um, if you can't find LAM MP3 because it is kind of hard to find, uh, use PCM, that's alright. Uh, 56 uh, kilobytes per second, 2250 hertz stereo, uh, 6 kilobytes a second. Okay. Interleave every 100 milliseconds. That's why I have it at. Um, you can enable auto pan. Alright, that's how you. Auto pan is um, 
when I move my mouse, it follows it. Um, you can go up so much, and it'll follow it. You can go left, right, down, uh, and it'll follow the cursor. So that's really cool. Um, program options. You can minimize program on start recording. I don't. I really don't care. Um, hide the flash and rectangle during recording. So like when you record, um, there by default there is a green rectangle around your cursor so you know where it's showing the cursor on your video. Um, you can save settings on ex uh, on exit exit. Uh, capture translucent layered layered windows. I said yes. A uh, bunch of other options down here. Um, record to flash. Uh, I had just these are default. Your keyboard shortcuts. This is what you uh. But you want to know um, so that you don't have to like down go down the menu and manually select stop. You can use these keyboard shortcuts. Uh, this is what I do. Um, you can select language. They now have it in English and German. So if you spoke uh, German, you could select that. But you have to restart it, as you see here. Um, just keep it at English. Okay. Now tools, screen annotations, and video annotations. I don't use either. I find them useless. Um, see, video annotations you have to have a uh, webcam for. I don't have one. I do use regular annotations. At uh, the bottom of my video, you'll see my geeks, uh, my geeks profile page. That's the caption. You can add a watermark and you can add a timestamp. You can go to the options and for my text, as you see here, that's what it says at the bottom of my screen. Um, you can change the view of uh, the menu, uh, the compact buttons, uh, once it's in buttons you can just click on this. Um, you can get help, there's different help, uh, you can go to the Cam Studio homepage, and that's pretty much it about Cam Studio. It's a, a really, really nice recording program if you ever need to show your friends something um, and don't know how to, you don't know how to use remote desktop or anything like that, you can just uh, use Cam, uh, Cam Studio, upload it onto YouTube, uh, it's really easy. It's a good program, and uh, that's pretty much it. Bye.